Hello, everybody. For the first time in almost three years having this channel, I wanted to share with you my personal experience and my story on how I decided to move to Turkey. And what, what was the main reason? Because many of you know, if you have been following my videos and my channel for a while, you already know that I am not Turkish. I am Mexican living in Istanbul. And some of you have been asking me like, hey, I mean, why, what brought you to, to Istanbul? Or why did you decide to move there? So if you really want to know the reasons and how was my experience, and if you want to hear a little bit of my story, then stay with us to watch this video and before we start i will ask you to go and grab your coffee or your tea and your favorite dessert if you have one because this story will be quite interesting for you so everything started in 2015 when i decided that i really wanted to move to another country i didn't want to stay in mexico because I'm, a, I'm like a free soul that I would love, that I love to experience different countries and cultures. And I just like to, to do that. I love traveling whenever I have the chance for, for it. So I said, okay, why not? If I have the opportunity to go somewhere else, I will definitely take the opportunity. And many people were asking me like, why Turkey? I mean, why not probably the US or even Canada? or even Spain, because also Spain, okay, it's already Europe, but we speak Spanish at the end of the day, Mexico and Spain. But I really wanted something different, something that was not similar to my own culture. And I just wanted to experience something new. And I remember that one of my aunts who, um, who has traveled to many other countries, many years ago when I asked, asked her, what was the country that she liked the most? And she said, Turkey. And back then she had already traveled to probably about 30 countries. So she mentioned Turkey and then I was like, oh, wow, well, I mean, why? So she started sharing her experience and later on I started doing my own research. And of course I fell in love with the country. And that was many years ago. That was probably about 20 years ago. So I was quite young back then. I know many people nowadays, they they want to come to Turkey because of the Turkish series, but, but back then the Turkish series were not a boom. So I just started doing my research and everything and I really liked the country. So right away it caught my attention and I said, okay, I would love to try that country for sure. We know that Turkey is a country that is very rich in history and culture, not only from the Ottoman time period, but also from way before, from all the civilizations that once inhabited this country. Like for example, if you visit Mardin and that area like Mesopotamia, and I remember from my history classes about Mesopotamia and all of these civilizations. So it was quite intriguing. So I really wanted to experience that and to come to this country and see everything on my own. So now that you already know why I decided coming to Turkey, now I will share a little bit of my all the procedure that I have to do and if it was easy or not and what did I have to do in order to come to Turkey. Finally, when I decided that I wanted to come to Turkey and that I was already focusing on that, I started preparing probably for a whole year. I started doing all the procedures and everything. Actually, I own a house in, in Mexico. So the first thing that I did was selling all my furniture, selling my car, selling everything. And then I decided to rent the house. And then also I needed to do all the procedure for my, for my university diploma because I was waiting for it already for a whole year because in order to receive my university diploma, we have to wait about a, about a year. So I was also waiting for that. In the meantime, I was also trying to, to learn Turkish from Mexico, but also back then, like Turkish language wasn't that, uh, like people weren't looking for the language back then. So I couldn't find any, any school or online courses as nowadays that there are plenty even in Mexico, but back then I couldn't find anything. So basically I couldn't learn Turkish from my home country. So I said, okay, I'll just go online and I'll just try to learn some like basic phrases, at least to know how to say hi, hello, how much is this? like daily phrases. So basically the Turkish that I know it's because I learned it here. But an advice that I, that I can give you that if you decide to come to Turkey, 
now you can find easier Turkish courses. So at least try to learn the, the language beforehand. That will definitely help you a lot. Also, I try to save as much money as I, as I could because moving to another country, if you have done it before or if you haven't done it but you have it in mind, you require a lot of money, not just for the airfare tickets and for the rent, for, for finding a place, but also like Turkey, as in many other countries, you will need to give money in order to, to get your residence permit and to rent a flat and then the commission and then your, even your, your phone that you need to register it here in Turkey. If you're coming with a foreign phone, um, a mobile, it doesn't matter the brand, if it's Galaxy, if it's Samsung or iPhone, it doesn't matter, you will need to register it. So you really need to keep an eye on each one of those expenses because you need to save enough money in order to pay each one of those procedures before you find a job in case that you would like to work as well here in Turkey. Once that I was ready to come to Turkey, of course I was working back then. I had a very good job in, in Mexico. If in, Probably you don't know this. Uh, if you have been following my, my channel for a while, you might know that, I, that here in Turkey I have been uh, teaching Spanish to Turkish people or to any foreigners who would like to learn Spanish because it's my native language. And to be honest, I'm, I love like Spanish and the grammar. I all, always have been really good at it actually since I was in uh, at school. But actually, I'm a lawyer. So my, my college degree is in law school. So for almost eight to nine years, I was, I was working in a federal tribunal in Mexico, which it is a very good job, actually. I mean, you have, you get your payments. They are very good payments, bonuses and everything. And you have many benefits because at the end of the day, I was working for, for the federal uh, government. So it is a very good job. But many people kept telling me like, Bere, why are you quitting? I mean, many people will die for a job like this and you have it. I mean, don't do it. Just stay here and, and everything. But it wasn't for me. I wasn't feeling happy. I mean, my happiness because I'm more free. I love like seeing other places, experiencing different things. So I said, no, I mean, here, this is not my place. So I didn't hear anybody. I just quit. And yeah, everybody, even though everybody was calling me like, are you crazy? Are you insane? And blah, blah, blah. I didn't care. And I just follow my dreams. Of course, my parents and my family were a bit concerned, especially because they didn't know much about Turkey. Of course, they only knew the things that most of the time are only shown on the media. And let's remember that the Western media are not quite fair with these, especially with Muslim countries. So they show whatever they want to show and sometimes they tend to twist things. So that's what my, my family at first they knew, but I just told them like, okay, let me go and experience it. I mean, I, I can go only for a year and within that year, if nothing works out as I was expecting, then I can always come back home. I mean, that, that will not be a problem, but at least let me try it, let me experience it because later on, I don't want to regret like saying I had the chance, but I didn't try it. So let, let's remember that we only have one life and if you have the, the chance to do other things and different experiences, just take it, do it and because it's for you. Finally, the time came when I had to pack everything and don't think that I was able to bring everything that I already had in, in my country, in Mexico. As I said, I have to sell all of my furniture and also I couldn't bring each one of my personal belongings. So basically I had to pack in only two luggage, each one of 23 kilograms, my whole life. So it was quite hard trying to choose what things to bring, what things I shouldn't bring. And oh my God, it was probably like the hardest moment ever because I literally wanted to bring everything, even my parents. I mean, if, if I had the chance, I could have put them in my luggage and bring them and bring them with me. But of course, I mean, we need to, we need to fly at some point. We cannot stay the whole time in one same place. So yeah, I mean, it was quite hard and I, I can still remember as if it was yesterday, that specific moment when my mom and I we were uh, pack, uh, packaging everything and my things. And yeah, I mean, all of a sudden like the day came 
everything I was so happy but at the same time I was so sad because I was leaving my family and my friends behind but I needed to fly I needed to try something else so finally it was a time for me to be in Turkey but let me tell you something that many people when they are coming or moving to another country not just Turkey but if, when they are moving to another country they usually come first and they try to find a job or any volunteering or anything once they are in the country but in my case I tried to do everything before arriving in Turkey so basically I found like a practice opportunity in one in one high school and there I was teaching a, a foreign language so actually it was a contract for one year and I, I was already ready uh, here in Turkey with an opportunity so I wasn't coming just like okay I'm coming and let's see what I can find no because I know it can be quite difficult sometimes and also the savings will not last forever so I didn't want to come to Turkey without anything for sure and that is why I tried to look for for a practice or a, at least a volunteer um, to come here to the country and be able to stay for a whole year at least and yeah actually it perfectly worked for me and I didn't come right away to Istanbul the first city that I went was Ordu, which is in is a very small city in the Black Sea region. And I stayed there for a year and it was a very good experience. And also because it is a very small city and that gave me a really good opportunity and chance to get used to the different culture, especially the language. And I was able to take my time to, to get ready to go out or maybe to come to Istanbul, which is probably the biggest city in the country but yeah I mean that year in Ordu really helped me a lot in getting used to to the culture and everything but I will not lie to you you will feel lonely you will feel sad uh, sometimes you might cry I mean I can tell you and I have to admit it that I cried a lot especially probably the first two or three months because it was the very first time in my life that I was away from my family and just to think that I was not able to spend one more birthday or even Christmas with my family it was a quite sad and frustrating but to be honest like the people there were so friendly my neighbors my neighbors I will not forget them my neighbors were lovely they were all the time taking care of me inviting me over their house to have dinner even to have breakfast and even though they didn't speak any English and back then I didn't speak any Turkish either they tried to do their best and we were communicating through uh, through the apps uh, Google Trans uh, Translate or body language and that that perfectly worked for, uh, for us but I mean I, I'm really grateful for those moments and also my colleagues uh, in my in the job that I was working at they were also taking care of me and they were all the time like hey do, do you need anything are you feeling okay hey let's go uh, have some tea or anything so they were trying to, to help a lot and I'm so grateful for that but yeah I mean let me tell you that you will feel the loneliness at some point because I felt it I thought that I was going to be strong enough but yeah I mean the first months were quite difficult later on you will get used to it uh, but still I mean you will feel homesick at some point but the first months will be the hardest ones for sure finally the year in Ordu passed and if, it, if, if I could have stayed there I would have definitely stayed there because it is a very nice place it is so calm and that was like the perfect place just to relax and not too crowded of course but we all know that the bigger city it is the more opportunities you're going to have and that's the situation with Istanbul so I wanted a better opportunity I wanted to grow here in Turkey and also my now husband he he, he was living in Istanbul so that that is another reason why I decided to come to Istanbul to look for a job opportunity which luckily I was able to find a job right before uh, leaving Ordu I signed a contract and, and everything to work for another school and that perfectly worked later on I, I married uh, to, to my Turkish husband in 2018 and yeah I mean that has been my whole uh, story uh, how I moved to Turkey why I decided moving to Turkey and how difficult at, at first it could be but if you really want to move to any other country it doesn't matter what country it is it will be difficult but 
it will worth it because it will give you a lot of new experiences and you will also realize that you're capable of doing many things that you didn't believe that you could do. So trust me, it will be an unforgettable experience. And finally, the question that also many people have asked me if I regret moving to Turkey. Well, let's remember that first of all, the experience that each one of us has as, as an expat living in Turkey or in any other country are not the same. So it also depends on, on each person. Maybe for me, it has been a good experience, but maybe for any other person hasn't been a great experience at all. But I will speak for myself, like my personal experience. To be honest, okay, leaving your country and living in a different country, doesn't matter which one it is, it's not an easy task at all. It's not easy and you really need to, to do many things in, in order to, to be able to do other things that you were planning but it's totally worth it. And do I regret? No, actually, I don't regret. I love the country and I consider Turkey as my second home already. I, every time I go abroad or I need to go back to my country and if I'm far away from, from Turkey for more than a month, seriously, I start missing the country. Of course, there are those little things that I cannot get used to it yet, but come on, I mean, that, that is totally normal. I mostly love everything. The, the people are amazing, are so warm. And yeah, I don't regret. My experience here has been really good. I haven't experienced like nothing like bad or crazy, but maybe some, some other people that I have known, they have really experienced something bad and they decide just to leave Turkey or they move to, uh, back to their country or to a different one. But in, in my opinion, I mean, for me, in my experience, I don't think uh, moving to another country. Of course, the situation in, in, in Turkey is not the same as maybe seven, 10 years ago when I, uh, when I moved here, seven years ago, it's not the same. I mean, hopefully like the situation will get much better because Turkish people deserve it. But I mean, yeah, I mean, still I don't regret. I mean, we are all just trying to work hard and trying to, to make out, uh, out a living here. And that's what we have to do. This is a, a country that has opened its doors uh, to many of us, including me. And for that, I feel very grateful. And well, to all, all the Turkish people that are watching this video, really thank you so much for all the opportunities. And I know that it's been so hard for everybody, but I really hope everything gets better very soon. And well, also another thing that I decided to do once that I was in, in Turkey and that I, that I started experiencing more about this beautiful country. That's why my husband and I, we decided to open this YouTube channel to show the beautiful places this country has to offer, not just to tourism, but also to people who are planning in moving to this country. And either if you're a tourist or if you are considering moving to Istanbul, to Izmir, to Antalya, to any place, you can get a general idea of the culture and the country through our videos as well. So this was my little story on how I decided to move to Turkey, why, and all the things that I had to go through. So hopefully I had answered to all of the questions that I have been receiving through many months already that I haven't been able to, to reply because there are so many. But well, if you have any other questions about that, I couldn't probably speak on this video, but you still have some questions that you would like to to, to write, just write them in comments below and uh, hopefully I will try to, to reply them as soon as possible. And before we finish with this video, I would love to thank each one of our patrons and YouTube members for giving us that extra support in creating more videos like this on our YouTube channel. If you want to receive special benefits and if you want to know what we are offering there, you can click on the link share in the description box and pin comment of this video. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.